Good morning, beautiful people. Gonna just set you down. Um, let's see. Nice. So I just got back from the gym. It is very cold outside. <laughs> and yeah, I was like really sweaty and I had to join on my eight o'clock call. And so I basically took off all my clothes, put on a robe because I was so cold and I needed to be warm. And I jumped on the call with my boss. I literally just got back from Germany at the end of last week. And so, yeah, it is currently Tuesday. And I feel like the jet lag is still kind of hitting just a little bit, but not too much. I talked to my, I texted my grandma last night and she was like, yeah, the jet lag is still affecting me. And I was like, girl, same, girl, same. Anyways, plan for today is pretty chill. It is another work from home day. It snowed <laughs> over the weekend. So it's like really cold. Like ice is on the ground. There's still snow everywhere. Like it's freezing y'all. But anyways, um, the agenda for today is that in like half an hour, I have a stand up with my team. I'm just going to ask a question regarding some scripting with dependent drop downs and see if that's like the smartest, best way to go about it. And then I have two client meetings, um, not back to back, one this morning and then one later this afternoon. Each of them are going to be about an hour each. And then I have two internal meetings, um, one with our product team and then one with our department. So it includes product support and um, the team who builds the apps, which is the implementation team. That is my plan for today. It's very, very chill. I'm thinking of going to the movies today. I'm not entirely sure. My grandma's like, send me footage of you driving stick. I wanna show my friends um, at CBS. And I'm like, okay let me i need to like download that um so i can do that but hold on let me see i'm thinking of going to watch a movie alamo draft house okay some of these movies look hella scary alamo locations i think i want to go to this one some of these movies look so scary one of them I kind of want to see because I read the book for, but it's kind of intense and I'm just like, I'm good. Mm, what's happening today? What are the times that are happening today? Because I get off my last meeting ends at 430. So I can be at that theater at like by five, you know? And it'd be nice to like get something to eat there too and just like treat myself. Plus, Alamo Draft House has like the best vegan chocolate chip cookies. Like they're so good. So I'm gonna see if I can find a movie that is um, not terrifying. Do they not have a lot of movies that are happening today? Oh, they really don't have a lot of movies. I definitely don't wanna see that movie. Some of these movies are hella depressing. Let's see, we'll do that location instead. Maybe some better options comes out. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna see a movie at Alamo Draft House today because some of the, the options are just a little... intense. None of them are like happy movies. And I'm very much a person who likes to watch very like feel good movies, animated movies. Like I can't watch dark, intense movies. Um, one of the movies I kind of I kind of do want to see because I read the book for it, but at the same time I'm just like that's a lot. So I think instead I'm just going to stay home. And I have books that I'm currently reading. And let me share what I'm reading with you, actually. Um, I am currently reading for my Bible study. 
Jesus through the eyes of women. I am like a quarter of the way through. I'm on chapter two, which this week we're going over the introduction and the first chapter, but I just kind of like want to get it over and done with because um, it is like it is a small book as you can see like it's not that much um but yeah so like i would say chapter two i'm getting a lot more out of than the first the introduction and the and chapter one mainly because the introduction and chapter one was just very it, it gave like kind of a lecture in college vibe which doesn't mean that it's bad but sometimes it's just kind of like hard to get through and you have to like push yourself through but in chapter two i'm really liking it the next book that i'm reading which i will say trigger warning there is domestic violence in there so uh if you want to read this book know that there is domestic violence um it is called it ends with us by colleen hoover i heard really good things about it but I didn't know that there was going to be domestic violence in it. But so far I'm reading it. I am only like, um, I don't know, 30 pages in. And so far it's like pretty intriguing. Um, and I'm interested to see like where the story is going to go. So I'm not even like halfway through. I'm like, yeah, like a tenth of the way through. It cast. So the next book that I'm uh, reading, and yes, I read multiple books at once. I, I think you would be surprised that you can do it as well, but I read multiple books at once. But the next book I'm reading is by Isabel Wilkerson. It's called Cast. And I read this in the middle of the pandemic when Black Lives Matter was really just, there was so much going on and it it was just a lot mentally. And I just got to a point where I was like, I can't read this anymore. I'm not in the mental state to be able to handle reading this book. Um, but now I'm in a better place and can read it. And like, obviously I've kind of like, you know, marked up the book and I've um, written in the margins and stuff like that and made notes. It is an incredibly informative book. The way that she just talks through all of the different topics is incredibly informative real raw heartbreaking um but yet so educational and informative and how like slavery really was just about like a caste system and how germany like nazi germany looked to america um and how they did slavery to inflict war upon Jews and people who were not um, of the race that they deemed superior to um, eradicate them. And I feel like that was something that wasn't really taught, at least in Texas at the time that I went to school, that Germany, Hitler, Nazi Germany and Hitler looked to America as a model on how they wanted to go about their war and create their caste system. And I was just like, so, that just shook me to my core and just everything like, she not only talks about the caste system here, but she talks about it throughout the world. So it's not just about like black people and African Americans and black Americans it's talking about caste systems all throughout the world and just like the little everyday things and you know the microaggressions that people go through um it's incredibly informative i highly encourage you to read it um it's it's a really really good book but it is heavy in terms of the topic and the content um but i just i, I have to finish reading it so those are three books that I'm reading. And then the next one uh, is not really a book that I'm reading, but I am currently learning Spanish because I'm going to Panama in a couple months and, or at least a month and a half. And I have to be semi-fluent 
in the language because my grandma said that when we get into Panama, which is where my grandma is from, along with her siblings, um, that she would not help me uh, translate, which is fair. Like I've been meaning to relearn Spanish. Fun fact, if you didn't know, Spanish is my native language. It was the first language that I spoke. So it is my mother tongue. Um, but I had to learn English and English is such a hard language. Like English is one of the hardest languages. And so, yeah, I ended up focusing on English. That was what we, like, that's what my grandma decided when I was really young, going into an English speaking school because we didn't know if the teachers understood Spanish and I was speaking both languages in the same sentence. And so if you weren't bilingual, uh, what I was saying just didn't make sense. So the best thought that she had at the time was to just focus on English. And then I kind of like lost Spanish. But yeah, what I'm doing right now to really help me learn as much as possible i'm listening to spanish podcasts of just like regular conversations bilingual so it like explains a little bit in english and then um has a lot of spanish dialogue to kind of go along with it and i like pick up words i practice um out of this book and just like getting the grammar down as much as possible and then i also practice on duolingo duolingo has like their podcast which i listen to it's a bilingual one for beginner and intermediate and so i listen to that um every day as much as i can and then i practice out of this book as well and then i also practice on duolingo the app um just like the exercises that they've had and it's been really helping but i'm just trying to keep at it and hopefully it just permeates my mind but i heard that listening to spanish as often as you can or listening to the language that you're trying to learn will help you to learn the language better because if you think about how children learn the language they just hear what you're saying and kind of repeat it back to you and so that's how they eventually kind of pick up the language and I was like, yeah, that makes total sense. That's how I should learn the language as well, is by listening to it a lot. And then I'll pick up words and eventually like understand by context clues. And then hopefully fully understand some sentences that people are saying and be able to kind of regurgitate it back. So yeah, anyways, um, it's been like, you know, 10 minutes and I need to go take a shower and get breakfast because... Um, I have stand up at nine o'clock and it's eight forty. So I'll talk to y'all in a bit. Hey. Hey Hi. team. How much snow do you guys get? Uh, about eight inches. Uh-huh. We're getting snow right now. It's maybe a couple. So I recently got back to having beet juice. And this is beet juice mixed with acai juice mixed with green juice so not it's not just beet juice alone but i like having beet juice in my smoothies just because it provides a lot of like antioxidants a lot of good nutrients and minerals for me so yeah doing that and then i have it with a side of ramen you can see here and i fry some eggs um to put in it but I got these like ramen packs for, it was like six for under 20 bucks at Costco. And they're so good. Um, it's with chicken. My grandma was really craving ramen on our last, on her last day here when we came back from uh, Germany. And we were gonna go out to get ramen, but we had to stop at Costco anyway. I needed to like get groceries to fill up the house. And then I saw this and I was like, why don't we just do this? And it was chicken base so it's like safe for us to eat and uh yeah it's really good i just add like a tablespoon of um coconut aminos and sesame oil and it's perfect and then i fry my eggs and it's been a nice little breakfast um because it has been very cold so having something nice and hot for breakfast has been good mixed with the healthy juice Hello, can you hear me? Mm hmm. Okay, awesome. Welcome back. Thank you. Okay, just got out of my 
first client meeting of the day. It went really well. I have my marching orders for what I'm supposed to be doing next. Basically have a lot of build. Um, our client gave us really good feedback, so I'm gonna be working on that. But I changed, I got actually dressed, so I have like a little tank top on with my cozy cardigan. Um, I have these, I'll show you. I got these like joggers from Target, and then I have these little foot slipper socks. Slipper socks, um, they have like the little grippies underneath. I got this from Costco a few years ago. Um, sorry, they're, they're really, they're really comfy. Um, yeah, and I have to wear, I have to wear, hold on. I have to wear house shoes or like house slippers or socks. Um, in the house pretty much year-round uh, because my feet get cold like nobody's business I just got messaged on slack um, my boss is so great anyways yeah I my feet get cold so easily and so quickly and especially now that like snow is really popping off here in Denver um, it gets colder in my apartment on the floor my apartment generally I keep it kind of warm in here just because I am a person who runs very cold there's a plane going by yeah I'm typically someone who keeps my apartment pretty warm because I generally run pretty cold anyway but um i have about an hour and a half so i'm actually going to take my lunch break and then i have another client meeting and then i'm going to work on changes for two of my clients technically three but this afternoon i'm going to be busy just like working at my computer as you can see um and then in case i do get the question but i just don't really like working at my desk. You can kind of see it's kind of dark back there. And I'm right in front of the like window here. And it's just like a lot brighter and I like working in a very bright space. And so, yeah, my office setup is just not really um, conducive to me feeling motivated to work there. I feel much more motivated on my couch. And I also know that at my desk I have three screens but I am just as productive on one screen the only time that I really care to work on three screens is if I have to do imports and I'm like consistently going from like screen to screen it's just nice to see it all at once instead of like switching back and forth so then I will move to my desk but if I don't have to your girl is gonna sit here on the couch and do her job at her computer, which is on the kid right now. Anyways, I'm gonna make my lunch and I'm gonna talk to y'all in a little bit. Um, also, I got these flowers from Whole Foods for like 10 doll hairs. And they're just so nice and I have like a few lilies that are going to come in so I'm very excited but I'm going to um, get some nicer flowers not that Whole Foods doesn't have nice flowers they have really nice flowers and I like getting like treating myself to flowers um, every other week but for Thanksgiving I ordered from my best friend and her business called Dwell and Delight Floral and so I have um, some flowers that are going to be coming in in a few weeks uh in two to three weeks i think um so once these like are gone and are no longer i will then have fresh flowers and yeah glad that i am going to be supporting 
um, my best friend, but also a local and small business here in Denver. I'll try to leave her details um, linked down below if you also want to order from her. She gets really good quality flowers, like really good quality stems, and her pricing is um, pretty affordable. She does like small, medium, large bouquets. She does subscriptions and she can deliver um, to you as well. But she um, is really good and really great and her flowers are really pretty and she gets like good quality from the wholesaler. So you're not getting like, you know, cheap stuff. You're getting like really, really good quality. So yeah, but I like these flowers um, as well from Whole Foods. I got rid of all of like the excess leaves because I don't want um, the water to just go to those excess leaves. And then I cut the stems at like a diagonal so that the, uh, the stems can get enough water. So anyways, I'm gonna use my Theragun now that I got. I'm gonna use my Theragun because my arms are killing me and I did not stretch or use my Theragun like I said I was. And then I am going to make myself some lunch. <gasps> he has a Netflix special. I'm happy for him. He's really funny. No worries. I pre from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Oh. I have been building for like three hours. I'm tired. Um, yeah, it's about to be the end of the work day and my throat is a little dry. So I think I'm gonna make myself some tea and then I'm probably gonna finish the day reading all of my books. <laughs> Uh, I'm trying to get there as much as possible this week because I set a goal for myself to read a certain amount by the end of this year because reading is so good for you and being on the screen all the time especially working in tech it's just not good for me and I need to like have time away from the screen so I'm gonna make myself some tea my battery's dying so I'm gonna talk to you in a little bit <laughs> She is so dumb. That man left, girl. That man left. So I started watching this K-drama on Netflix. Also, if you start watching K-dramas, just be prepared that like any American shows are no longer gonna do it for you because K-dramas are truly just elite. Like they're gonna take over your life. So just saying that to you right now. But Destined With You is a K-drama that's been out for a while. I'm liking it so far. I'm on episode four. There's 16 episodes. I'm currently eating lightly salted almonds. Fifty percent less sodium than our roasted salted almonds. As my snack. Um, but yeah, I just finished my last meeting of the day. I have 
early meetings tomorrow morning so i'm gonna finish watching this episode which it has like eight minutes left and then i'm gonna read a little bit and then that's gonna be my day i've been going to bed kind of early because of this jet lag like i think today i think yesterday was the last day i dealt with jet lag because honestly i still feel pretty awake now it's about to be like six o'clock i'm lying it's about to be five um yeah and i still pre feel pretty awake i don't feel as tired but time will tell once eight o'clock hits or like more like 7 30. when 7 30 hits that will let me know if i've overcome jet lag because last night at 7 30 my eyes were shutting down i was so tired i went to bed by eight o'clock it was insane so yeah that's all i got I'm gonna watch the show now All right, y'all, I think I'm gonna end the video here. I'm gonna have a cup of tea and, oh, my arm is dead, y'all. I'm gonna have a cup of tea and watch another episode of Destin with you and probably read more. Um, yeah, I'm in really good spots of my book. The, all three books that I'm reading, I'm trying to read like, at least 10 pages a day of each book um yeah and if i can read more then that is a win but if not then i at least read 10 pages of each book and i feel pretty good about that so i'm hoping by the end of the month i will finish all three books at once because uh, those are the three books that i'm reading and then I'm going to practice some Spanish later tonight and do my exercises. So that is me done. But if you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. And yeah, I will see you in the next one. Bye.